Hello guys and welcome to the Tierney Model Railways uh, official YouTube channel. Um, today we are doing a review on uh, Dapple double O gauge class 52 Western diesel hydraulic locomotive in BR maroon with yellow panel livery. Now this loco was uh, ordered a little while ago from Dapple um, it was uh, donated to us um, for use uh, on our Heritage Railway. Obviously we are based at the Con Valley Railway in Hedingham, Essex. And we run uh, a model railway down there who, for our guys inheritance. Right, so here we have a nice lovely box here which slides outwards. There we go, it's all nicely packaged. We have uh, little bits and pieces here. We have a uh, 24-month mechanical warranty on the locomotive. Uh, let's see here. So that's that out of the way. And then we also have what do we have here? We have the background, so the history of the Class 52 Westerns. And here we have instructions. Uh, etc. Uh, lubrication, um, how to install uh, a DCC um, chip, um, and it's obviously, obviously this is also optional DCC sound, which is very good, and it's 21 pin DCC uh, ready. So that's that. So here we have a nice polystyrene here, this black polystyrene which is uh, very um, protective on the locomotive. And there she is in this nice ice box, as I like to call them, ice box, because they look like a block of ice. So what do we have down here first of all? We have, ah, we have head codes, which is really interesting. So you get to choose any head code on the locomotive as you like, and these do light up as well with lights. Uh, what's that there? We have uh, these uh, extra detailing parts, like handrails or something like that, and brake pipes. So I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what they are. But extra detailing, and I think is that name plates in there? I can't seem to see any nameplates, so I wonder if this actually comes with nameplates or not. I hope it does, because Westerns always come with nameplates. Huh. Maybe it's inside, I don't know. We'll just have to check it out. So I'm going to be back in a minute while I just pull her out. Okay, so here she is inside the block of ice. And now this just slides open. Obviously, yeah, a little plastic bit on top over the top of it, and like that, and just to protect it more. Um, and I believe this is like the Helgen Beckman boxes that just flip up. And then open it, open it up. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Is that a second layer? Oh, that's very interesting. You have to open these up as well. That's interesting. It's very, um, the box quality is very good. It's very protective over the loco, which is really good. That's what we like, because we want the train to be well protected. All right, here we are. Right. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. That's really nice. I'm not even joking, that is actually really nice. Quite a yeah. You know, I'm only a volunteer at the Tierney Model Railway Shed, but I quite fancy one of these. I must admit, they are pretty damn nice. Alright, what do we have here? Right. So, detailing. We have lots of detail. I mean, straight away I can notice this. Um, I don't know what the hell this is, but it might be something to do with the... That's the fuel insert. Yeah, the fuel insert. So that's where they fuel it up. We have some more little bits and pieces there. We have fantastic bogey detail. 
I've seen with little pipes and springs etc and the wheels are very well well done uh, they, they're the little dots in the wheels which are fantastic um, we have the little I think that's where the diesel pump goes in actually I don't know I'm not I'm not like a big person with the hydraulics but they are pretty damn nice obviously here's where the lights are in there they should light up in there we'll soon test her out on the layout to show you that demonstration separately fitted handrails which are very good um, and I don't know but I think you can see that if my camera will focus look at that that's quite crisp that is quite crisp for a warning label I like that yeah Roof detail. Let's move up to the roof. Right. I'll tell you what. I'm just going to put some more light on and then I'll be back with you. Just before we move on, here you go guys. Here is the etched nameplates and numbers. Uh, unfortunately, well, it would have been nice if they did Western Champion or something, but this is obviously Western Firebrand D1012 etched nameplates. It also has the... Uh, the built-in Swindon thing, it's very nicely nicely done. And yeah, so and that this was in the bottom of the box, which I found. Look at this. That's really smart. That's etched fan grills there. These are are they metal? They are metal as well. They're metal as well, which is really a really, really nice touch by Dapple to be doing that. Um, a metal hand grills uh, there. Um, as you can see, it's very nice the detail on the uh, the roof and just the fans. I wonder if they spin. I don't know, but we'll have to see. Cab detail. Good God, that isn't too bad, you know. If I just zoom in there. Look at that. You can see the cab detail in there. You can actually see it. The dials, the knobs, the um, the brake. It's all there, which is fantastic. So what you could do if you really wanted to, to make it look even more better, you could paint those, technically speaking. That is a very, very, very well done, I must say. Very well done. I like that touch. That's brilliant. I'm glad that it has there because usually O gauge ones at uh, Locos usually have the cab detail on them, not double O. But it's very, very nice that they've attempted to do the um, to actually do the cab detail. And obviously we have these we have the vacuum pipes and hoses and everything there. And it is also buffers are sprung. Brilliant. Nice crisp British Railways emblem on the side of it. It's all very nice, and I must say I'm very pleased with this. Very pleased with it. Fantastic model, it really is. So very well done to Dapple for this model. Uh, they need to give themselves a pat, pat on the back for this. I do, I, I do really, um, really do recommend this developer. Um, I've recently bought a Terrier O gauge Terrier from them, and it is just fantastic. Very well done, very well, uh, very very kind service. Just a brilliant model railway company. So let's give this low car run on the rails and see how she performs. Right, okay, so this is her, I hope you can hear me. This is her sat on the uh, trundly close model railway layout. Um, not uh, the TNU model railways layout. That's because it's my layout, my personal layout um, as a volunteer at the TNU. Um, so we're going to see how she performs, and yeah.
at the moment I'm very impressed with her overall performance. So let's try her in the opposite direction now. And she still runs as smooth as a baby's bottom. Okay, so we have a little uh, flashy light going on, but that's because my track's dirty. That's all. So we're just going to couple her up to some wagons now. Let's see how she performs with a load. Right, so, my overall rating for her, well, what can I say, it's just a masterpiece, that's all I'm saying, it is a masterpiece, it is very nice, a very smooth runner, um, and I really do think that these locomotives um, are probably one of the best locomotives out there at the moment. Um, uh, along with the latest class 73 that the Dapple have done, uh, it's a very good model. Um, and obviously the O gauge ones, but I, 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 I'm speechless. Well, what I'm going to rate it is a massive 10 out of 10 because obviously we got the little problem with the flickering light in the cab and the and the front and there, but. That's probably because my track is dirty, but that will that will be sorted. Uh, also, because it's on analog as well. Um, but in DCC, you're not going to have that problem. Um, analog just uh, obviously is out of date, and you need some updated stuff in order for this butte to run perfectly. But um, it runs perfect on analog. If any of you want to stay on analog, um, otherwise go DCC if you don't like the flickering lights but um, or unless it's just my track I don't know but um, like I say 10 out of 10 love the model to bits and it really is and will be used a hell of a lot on the TNE model railway right so this is Samuel Beeman signing off thank you for watching